Hello, welcome back to another tutorial. Today we are going to connect uh, Siemens G120 drive and uh, Compact Logics 5069 L320ERMS uh, together so that the Rockwell PLC controls the Siemens G120 drive. First step is we're going to create uh, the drive file. So, You'll start, you'll start up your uh, TAA portal, whatever version you have. This one happens to be 17. We're going to create a new project. We are going to uh, create a drive. Whoops. We're going to add a new device. We're going to select a drive. The G120 control unit. And the control unit on this one is a CU240E-2PNF and the version is 4710. So we'll go ahead and add that drive. And then we need to add the power module which is a PM420 but or 240 but I do not remember what it was so I went and looked at it took the model number off it, put it in here and we'll search for it, drop it in. Need to add the IP address you're going to use. We're going to use uh, 10 to 10 23 because I'd already set the IP up on it. Uh, there's other videos that teach you how to do that. Second thing, we're going to select a telegram, which is in this instance we're going to use 352. and then we need to go to parameters we're going to go to communication well let's go to parameter view and then we'll go to communication configuration we're going to change parameter 2030 you can do this on the drive itself as well we're going to do it here we're going to select ethernet IP and since we already selected the telegram 352 and the other screen it's already in here that's the only parameter that we're going to change now we're going to go select commissioning we are going to use a commissioning wizard we're going to select the standard drive control we are going to keep the uh, data exchange between the PLC and the drive field bus with data 352 telegram we're going to change the motor to a since we're in the United States we're going to need 60 Hertz motor uh, the line voltage supply and that is 480 no filter and then we're going to enter the motor data it's an induction motor induction motor <laughs> select Delta the rated current 0 0.30 horsepower 0 0.125 RPM is 3450 voltage is 460 on 60 Hertz no holding motor reference speed maximum speed 3450 reference is 3450 change our ramp up time to one second decel one second everything else looks good we're going to do identifying motor at standstill and then we're going to select finish go ahead and we're going to download to the drive now we're going to search for the drive and since it's already on the network with the same address it should pull it up 
we're going to go ahead and select the office drive and then we're going to go ahead and load it we're going to save the EEPROM Now that that's finished, we're going to go ahead and go online with the drive. It's got a little wrench here saying that we need to do the motor optimization. So you can find that also in the online diagnostics under oh, active alarms. And it says it needs to do the motor data identification. So we'll go ahead and uh, go over to the commissioning tab, motor optimization, it just says that we're going to take control of it, we're going to activate it, select yes, now we're going to switch it on, move this, you should be able to cheat it, change the fields. And now it's done and complete. You have your green check mark. You're good to go. We're going to go ahead and save this project. We will go offline with it. We will now do an upload from the drive. and then we'll save the project again. We, will, we won't need this anymore now. So now we're going to create the new Allen Bradley controller project. We're using the 5069 L320 RMS2. Uh, we'll just call this G120 Ethernet IP. We'll select next. I'm using version 33. Select finish. Okay, now that the project's uh, built, we're going to need to go to the Siemens website, which I'll put a link in here. We're going to go to this support page and we're going to need to download the Semantix G drives and here's also the PDF that will explain more of the stuff in this but you'll just go ahead and uh, select your drives it'll download well, I've already downloaded it I have extracted it and you'll end up with a folder like this we'll go into the folder We'll go down and select Telegram 352. We we'll go to the PLC. We're going to go to the Add on Instruction. And here we're going to need to import this AOI. But another thing you're going to want to do is there are EDS files that we need to install. Now you could just install this one, but I would I would uh, pref you should probably come back here and do all of them. So how you do that would be to go back and open up your project. I'm going to go to Tools, EDS Hardware Installation. Select Next. You're going to register EDS files. We're going to register the complete directory. So, to both of those. We're going to go to our Downloads. This is what we down what we checked off, what we downloaded and extracted. You're going to select OK. You're going to select Next. It's going to find all the stuff here. You'll select Next again. I've already done this, um, and it'll go through the whole step. I don't need to do it again. 
all that is in. So let's go ahead and add the drive. So to whatever network you're going to put your drive on. Get rid of all that. We'll just scroll down the list. Go to Siemens AG. We're going to scroll down to Telegram 352. We're going to select Create. We'll just call it Drive 1. We're going to put its address in. It's the address we set on the drive earlier. It's very important that we come in here and we change the compatible to dis disable keying. And because we're going to use that on instruction and it's set up for an integer format of 6 in, 6 out. So we'll change that. We're going to select OK. Now that we're good there, select Yes or OK. And here you'll see that your Siemens drive is in here. And that's all for that. Next we're going to go to your Assets, Add-on Instructions. We're going to import an add-on instruction. We're going to, you would browse to that file, you would go to AOI which of course well, as you can see in your downloads Smax Telegram 352 PLC AOI I'm going to grab this one with the HMI because most of us use HMIs now and all that does is have extra stuff within the instruction I'll show you we're going to select OK, we're going to import it say yes Alright, now we're going to go to the main routine. We're going to go ahead, go to add on instruction. We're going to add it. We're going to call this line one. Conveyor one. New. Create. Drive status. So we're going to need to add that next which was drive one so it would be input data then drive control which is going to be output so drive control data here's where that six come into play so we know that it's a 3450 motor we know that the current is 0.30 and we know I'm not 100% sure on the torque, so we should put 230 in. Okay, next we're going to want to control the drive, so we need to have a reset option so we can clear any faults. So clear fault. Oops. Now we're going to go select line 1, which is the add on instruction. We're going to go in, we're going to scroll down to where it says drive control, because we want to clear any faults with that, right? So fault acknowledge. The next one, we'll want the drive to be enabled. So, again, that is a line control or is a drive control so you scroll down until you hit control then you'll drive enable so command run that works new or not. <laughs> A little ahead of myself. We're going to change this. We need to enable, right? So like all safeties are fine. So I'll we'll just put it enable. Create new. Create. Oh, it's already in there. And then we want to run the drive. We'll just pull this down. Open it up. And then we're going to command the drive to run. So run command. Okay next thing we need to put in is we're going to need to tell the drive how fast to go so 
So line speed. Real. Create. Again, I drag that down, and then it's going to be main set point. Okay, we'll just give this <laughs> speed for now. Um, everything looks good. It's everything set up to make this drive run. So we're going to go ahead and download it. I selected the path where this controller is at. And we're going to go ahead and uh, download to this drop to this controller. We're going to go ahead and set elect and put the controller back into run mode. We do not have an I.O. issue, so we are now connected with the Siemens G120 drive. And we should be ready to run. So, we're going to go and select enable. We want the drive to be enabled. And then we know that the drive is going to run at line speed of 2000 RPM the actual speed will show up here and the drive is up to speed now and running the drive is in another room otherwise I would give you a picture but that's how easy it is to put a G120 drive online connected with a Rockwell controller um, we can go on here and we can look at the drive real quick and we can see what the drive is doing. Uh, let's go to parameters and all parameters and we can watch this actually run. I will grab the file we were working on, drag it off the side and I will turn it on. We should be able to see it ramp up to ramp set point as I'm turning on now. And you can see that it's running and I'm controlling it from the Rockwell PLC. That's all I have for this tutorial. I hope this helps somebody out. Um, I know it was rather quick and fast, but it's a video so <laughs> you'll be able to go back and watch again. If you have any questions, comments, please leave them below. Uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Mm -hmm.